Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is uh, Cambridge IGCSE uh, Mathematics paper this is paper from May June 2024 paper 1 3 in the first video we have done questions from 1 to 12 in this video we are going to do the remaining questions if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel if you are getting benefit from my videos and uh, share it with your friends let me know in the comment section about your feedback so let's start uh, question number uh, 13 uh, we have here factorize completely so first of all we will see like in number there is nothing common this is 4 this is 5 we cannot take out anything common and you can see x and y is in both so i will take out x from here and x from here will also can come and y we can take out x y so inside we are having 4 1 x will left minus 5 y so this is going to be the answer 4x minus 5y right uh, now next number 14 and uh, the scale of a map is uh, 1 to 40 uh, 40,000 1 to 40,000 so this is the map if you see this is going to be map and this is going to be the actual length right and so then calculate the act uh, sorry one map on the map the distance between two villages this is on the map on the map on the map i will put it here 37 centimeter calculate the actual distance between two villages actual distance is here so just cross multiply here when you cross multiply this is going to be x times 1 equals to 40000 times 37 so when you calculate this just plug in the value in the calculator uh, so we have 148 there are four zeros one two three four centimeter but we are looking for answer in the kilometer so divide this by uh, centimeter to meter it's hundred we are dividing by hundred then from meter to kilometer is thousand right so this is going to be let me write down here one four eight one two three four and divided by one two 1 2 3 0 so 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 this is gone so we have 148 over 10 that is 14.8 so 14.8 kilometer is the final answer right now number 5 uh, without using calculator work out so uh, work out this one 3 over 7 let me rewrite minus 14 you must show your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. Uh, so, to make the denominator same, uh, let us say we are making denominator same here. Uh, so, this is 14. So, I will multiply here by 2, multiply here by 2. Now, next we will just uh, rewrite this again. Um, we have here 3 times 2, it is 6 over 14 minus 1 over 14. So, now denominator is same. So, we can directly subtract numerator 6 minus 1 it is 5 over 14. So, 5 over 14 is the final answer. We cannot simplify it further. So, this is this will be the answer. Uh, number 16 price of a game increases from 48 to 56.4. Uh, so, calculate the percentage increase. First of all, we will uh, calculate the general increase increase is going to be dollar fifty six point four zero minus dollar forty eight so this is the increase when you subtract this it comes out to be dollar eight point four zero now we are looking for the percentage increase so for the percentage increase we have eight point four zero divided by 48 remember that you always whenever it's a percentage you take the original original was uh, 48 then it was increased so times 100 so just calculate it comes out to be 17.5 now number 17 we have a right angle triangle here uh, the diagram shows a right angle triangle calculate side a b now if you look at the triangle 
this is right angle this is 37 so this angle is going to be adjacent and angle opposite or side opposite to this is the opposite side right and we are looking for a b a b is here adjacent side uh, so we can as this is the right angle triangle we can use soka to a uh, so, we will use here from cos because we want we have hypotenuse high hypotenuse involved in these two, but we have to take adjacent. So, we are taking cosine. So, cos of 37 is equal to a b that is adjacent over uh, hypotenuse which is 8. So, from here a b is going to be 8 times cos of 37. So, from the calculator I am getting cos 37 as 0 0.7654 and multiply it is 6.389. So, we can write down 6.39 to 3 significant figures right. Now, number 18 uh, the length s meters of a ship is 83 meters correct to nearest meter. So, uh, complete the statement about the value. So, we are looking for the upper bound and the lower bound. Uh, so, this is 80, 83 meters. So, for the upper bound it, as it is 1 meter. So, half of 1 meter is 0 0.5 meters right. So, we are going to add 0 0.5 for the upper limit and subtract 0 0.5 for the lower. So, this is 83.5 and this one is 82.5. So, here we will write 82.5 the lower limit less than or equals to 83.5 the upper limit. Now, number 19 solve the simultaneous equation. So, just look uh, carefully if you see the coefficients here and the coefficient of w is equal and they have opposite sign. So, we can just add simple question. Uh, when you add this negative and positive will get cancel 5 plus 3 it is 8 t uh, 19 plus 5 is 24. So, t is 24 over 8 that is 3. So, t is 3. Uh, so, once we got t 3. So, we can take any of the equations I am taking the first one 5 t minus 2 t equals to 19. So, substitute the value of t So, 15 minus 19 2 w going on other side 15 minus 19 it is negative 4 2 w divide by 2 divide by 2. So, w is minus 2. So, w is minus 2 right simple I hope you guys are getting everything kindly write in the comment section how uh, do you find this video and uh, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Now, number 20 the diagram shows the position of three towns A, B, C. We have three towns here you can see here is A, B and C. Uh, angle A, B, C is 103 it is given the bearing of B from town A is 40 A of B from A. So, always whenever there is a from you go to that point from town A. So, I will go this is from A to B. If we go from here to here then you are going to get this is the uh, we have 48 right. Uh, town C is due east of now uh, of town A right. Find the bearing of town C from town B. I said wherever you have you see from. So, you go to that point. So, B is here. So, that means from B to C. So, we are looking for actually this angle ok. So, now if this is 48 these two are parallel lines north lines. So, the, uh, these are co interior angles. So, uh, 180 minus 48 this is 132 degrees right. So, this angle we got 132. Now, this angle is angle round the point at B is 360. So, now you write angle round a point is equal to 360. So, that means 132 plus 103 
plus uh, this angle uh, let us say this is x let me write down x plus x is equal to 360 right. So, we are just going to calculate the values. Uh, so, this will x is going to be 360 minus 132 plus 103. So, we are taking it uh, this whole thing to other side. Uh, if this is in a bracket the whole thing will go negative that side. So, when you calculate it is 125. So, 125 make sure whenever you write three, uh, this angle in bearing it should have 3 digits. We already have 3 digits. So, then we are going to write them directly. Now, number 21 uh, we have this universal set here 1 4 5 etcetera and cube number c is a cube number s is a square number. So, cube numbers from here cube numbers are if you see uh, 1 is a cube number right then 8 is a cube number because 2 power 3 is 8 then we have 64 is a cube number because 4 cubed is 64 and now the square numbers uh, square number 1 is a square number 1 square is 1 2 square 2 3 square uh, 9 is a square number then 16 is square number and 64 is a square number right. Now, complete the Venn diagram. So, we have to place all these numbers wherever. Uh, so, now what is common here? Common will come here in the uh, central part. So, 1 is common as you see and then 64 is common. Okay. Then uh, 1 and 64 we have written 8, 8 is in a, uh, as a cube number. So, this is the uh, circle of cube. So, we will put 8 here and then 64 also cube number, but it is already. So, for C we have written all 3 1 8 and 64. So, this is done. Now, let us see square number 1 we have already kept 4 4 is a square number. So, it will come here in the S circle then 9 will come here and 16 64 we have already written right. So, I think we are done. Uh, so, now the next what is remaining here you see from here will go outside. Uh, so, 1 4 we have not written 5. So, 5 will come over here and um, then we have 8 8 is done there here uh, 9 9 is there 12 12 is not here. So, we will put 12 outside here and then 16 is there 64 is there. So, that is how we will complete the Venn diagram right. Now, find n c uh, union s c union s means all this part everything included in uh, c and s uh, uh, like we are talking about this region all this ok. So, n means number of number of elements in uh, c union s is 1 2 3 4 5 6. So, it is going to be 6. Okay. Now, part B on this Venn diagram sh shade the region A intersection B. A intersection is the common region between A and B. So, this is the part that we are going to shade. Okay. Now, number 22 uh, write these numbers in standard form. So, uh, this is 0 0.007. So, decimal supposed to be here. So, 7.0 times 10 raised to power uh, it will be negative 3. We are shifting 3 units right. So, it is going to be 7 times 10 raised to power minus 3 and this one now the decimal is here. We are shifting like 3, 3 and 2 uh, that is 8. So, this is going to be 7 times 10 raised to power 8. This should be positive power of 10 because we have uh, multiplied by the uh, zeros here. So, calculate this one in standard form. Now, uh, this one directly um, you plug in all the values like here let me do uh, 3200 5.4 divided by 4.8 10 raised to power this is negative 3 plus 4 right. So, this is going to be 10. So, just uh, directly substitute these values uh, put these values into the calculator and then you get here as uh, it is uh, let me check. So, we have uh, uh, 
3200 times 5.4 times 10 divided by 4.8 so this comes out to be 36000 right so now we are shifting decimal from here 1 2 3 4 to write down in standard form so 3.6 times 10 point uh, 10 raised to power 4 right now that's it for this one let's see next one uh, number 23 i think this is the last question yeah this is the last question and it is of 5 marks so let's see what is it uh, there are two diagrams here. Diagram shows a spherical tank. Spherical tank, this is spherical tank with radius 0 0.5 meters and cylindrical jug. Here is the jug with diameter 24 centimeter and height 32 centimeter. The tank is full of water. This, this is full of water here. Mm, calculate how many times, how many times the jug can completely fill the water tank. So, that means whenever we are looking, uh, talking about the capac capacity, we have to find out the volume. So, let us find out first the volume of sphere. Volume of sphere, we have the formula 4 over 3 pi r cubed, right. So, now uh, the units. So, see this unit is 32, right and this uh, centimeter and this unit is in meters. So, we can convert that this radius, radius of uh, 0 0.5 meter to centimeter it will be 100. Uh, so, that is going to be 50, 50 centimeters right. So, I will be using this one. So, this is 4 over 3 pi 50 cube number 1. Then we are looking for the volume of the cylinder volume of cylinder this is pi r squared h you need to remember the formula uh, pi r is 32 squared I'm sorry 24 r squared is r is uh, radius is 12 to, uh, because this is uh, tw diameter is 24. So, radius is going to be 24. radius is going to be 24 over 2 that is 12 centimeters right. So, here it is going to be 12 square height is 32 times 32 right. Now, we are going to divide to find out the number of jugs, number of jugs that can fill that one. So, it will be volume of sphere over volume of cylinder, right. Volume of sphere is 4 over 3 pi 50 cubed and volume of cylinder is pi 12 squared times 32 right and pi and pi gets cancelled. So, let us see. So, this is going to be 4 over 3 times 50 times 50 times 50 over this is going to be 12 times 12 times 32 right. So, when you uh, plug in these values just in the calculator we are getting 36.16. Now, as we are looking for the number of jugs, number of jugs cannot be in, um, in the decimal. So, it is saying find the how many uh, times the jug can completely fill. So, for completely so we uh, the answer is going to have it is 36. So, final answer is 36 right. So, that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys understood everything. Uh, I will wait for your comments in the comment section. Kindly, kindly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Be blessed guys. See you in the next video.